pressed it. Come on. How did you know right when it was going to do that? And it got weird know. noise. We got candy this time. We have a gummy snack pack featuring Kraft Mac and Cheese, Oscar Mayer, and Clausen Pickles. We have a Game Boy tin that has grape flavored candy. And we have Brock's Desserts of the World, which has like five different flavors of jelly bean. Let's do these gummies first. Brad Tries did the Kraft Mac and Cheese ones, and he was not impressed. Oh, boy. But I don't know about the other flavors. Yeah, who knows. And for the price this was, I hope there's something good in here. This was $3.99 for this little thing with three kinds of gummy. I do like that the pickle ones kind of look like pickles. Let's see if I can get some, enough light in there so you can see. And the mac and cheese does look like mac and cheese slices. I guess the um, Oscar Mayer one is supposed to look like a sandwich <clears throat> or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Which one do you want to try first? Uh, which one of the ones again? Mac and cheese, Oscar Mayer, and pickle. Austin's uh, pickles. Yes, the. Ugh. I guess the cheese. The mac and cheese one. Okay. These are supposed to be Kraft mac and cheese. Oh boy. Does it smell like anything? I can't smell anything. Sure. That's smell what it looks like. Looks like a macaroni. Doesn't fucking smell like mac and cheese. I don't know what the hell it smells like. Doesn't taste like mac and cheese. I wonder if it's supposed to be like shaped like it, not exactly tasting like it. Yeah, but they missed an opportunity in making it not taste like it. Yeah. It tastes like orange. Yeah. Alright. Pickle? Yeah, I guess. I assume it's lime or watermelon or something. Or green apple. Something green. Kind of looks like a pickle. But does it taste like pickle? Probably not, because nope. the mac and cheese one tastes like orange. <laughs> what is that? No idea. Not pickle. Maybe lime? I don't know. <coughs> oh, these are supposed to be hot dogs. What the shit? Well, I wish I was an Oscar Mayer wiener. Yeah, it's a little hot dog. So you have <sighs> like an orange colored bun with a red line. For the ketchup, a green line, which I guess is supposed to be like relish. You got a pink section, which is the hot dog, and with the yellow line, which I guess is supposed to be mustard. Oh, yeah, it's a little hot dog. That's kind of cute. It's not going to taste like a hot dog, but it's cute. Yeah. That's a harder chew. Yeah. Scratch your ass! Not on my video, dude! <laughs> Be careful, do not squish the snack cakes into my blanket, or I'll have to kick up by your butt. Yeah. Fuck the government. They always take our fucking cheese. Government used to give away cheese. Yeah! It's actually good cheese. <clears throat> well,. I'd say these were a dud. Yeah. Because they make you think you're going to get these weird flavors and then they're just orange. 
maybe lime. I don't know what the hell the hot dog one was supposed to be. Some kind of fruity flavor. <coughs> In this day and age... I mean, don't advertise yourself as Kraft Mac and Cheese gummies if yeah. you're not going to taste like Kraft Mac and Cheese. Yeah. I mean, all in this day and age, we're seeing a bunch of weird shit. People want the weird shit. Yeah. They don't want basic boring gummies. Yeah. So, it's definitely not worth four bucks for that little thing of gummies that don't taste like what they look, what they're supposed to be looking <laughs> like. I do think the pickles are cute. But there are only pickle on one side. The other side's flat. <laughs> and they don't taste like pickles. And the hot dogs... Kind of look like hot dogs, I guess. I mean, it took me a little bit to figure it out what it was supposed to be. And the mac and cheese, yeah, they look like macaronis. They could have made it taste like mac and cheese. It's all chemicals anyway. Make the chemicals that taste like mac and cheese. Yeah. That's disappointing. Okay, so this <coughs> is just a little tin that looks like a Game Boy. We get this, what? Five below? Yeah. I wonder how much also they have. So I know the uh, NES, con I think it was an NES controller. It, the candies were like, I don't know, was it lemon or some? These are great. Yeah, so I assume... These are little great candies that look like yeah. D-pads. Because I assume that if there are more, it's going to be different. Like, the NES controller is, uh... Is whatever flavor. Yeah, and then this one is the grape, and then something else and something else. Which I like. Different video game things. And if anything, I got a cool-ass tin to put on my shelf. Trash can. I'm not a huge fan of grape flavored stuff, so. I mean, it depends. You like grape better than I do. Yeah. But I mean, these do look like the little D pads. I don't know, you can't really see the detail on it because my camera sucks, but. <laughs> Tastes like fake grape. Yeah. Which is exactly what you expect it to taste like. He was disappointed because the things that look like the buttons don't press or anything. Yeah. It's, it's just a tin. It's not supposed to. We need tins that do this. Get on it, people! And then it would cost three times as much. Yeah, probably. Okay, so this is supposed to have chocolate macaron, strawberry mochi, churro, apple pie, and lemon sorbet. That's the various flavors. Yeah. I would get the scissors out, but they're kind of holding up the camera at the moment. <coughs> yeah. I will get in on one way or another. Ha ha ha. Okay, so let's see. Can I figure out what flavor is what? Weird shit is weird shit. I'm going to say this is probably chocolate macaron. Probably. And, definitely and the smells. pink one is probably the strawberry mochi. Yeah. Mm, the speckly looking one is probably the churro. Probably. So, green is apple pie. Maybe. And yellow is lemon sorbet. Probably. That's gonna be my guess. Because if you look at the picture on the bag, the apple is a little speckly, but it doesn't look green. It looks yellow. Yeah. And the lemon sorbet looks like a plain yellow, and the churro is kind of a white and speckly. Well, here, the churro is kind of a beigey speckly. Ugh. The chocolate on the bag looks more brown than this. This looks almost red. Ugh. Looks like root beer to me. 
Yeah. Um, and the strawberry, I mean, pink is pink. Yeah. But. Uh. Let's see if I can get these back in the bag without, like, totally making a mess. Yeah. Well, I can't get the bag to stay open. Uh. I don't want to tear it any farther across. Dang it. Get that little round container Where are you? next to my headphones. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Fucking thing. That rectangular one would have worked as well, but this I know is good. Without my nose going. Yeah. Old people issues okay. and pollen season. So yeah. Should we do the chocolate macaron? Yeah, I guess. So it's kind of. I don't know. I think it looks like root beer. <laughs> kind of brownish. Somewhat chocolatey, I guess. Yeah. It's alright. Reminds me of the chocolate pudding jelly belly. Yeah. But it looks like the root beer one. <laughs> Pink. Yeah, I guess. The strawberry mochi. <coughs> yeah, strawberry. Yep. Which one do I do next? Uh, I guess the green one. Okay. I think the green is supposed to be the apple pie. Tastes like it. Okay. I think. Yeah, at first I thought it was. I'm not really getting apple, but I'm getting kind of the the seasoning, the um, cinnamon yeah. and. I guess. You want the blotchy one or the yellow one? I guess yellow. Okay. This should be lemon sorbet. <clears throat> the yellow one. That's definitely lemon. Oh, yeah. That's got a good lemon. Yeah. What did I do with the um, lemon meringue pie ones that we got at the movie theater? No idea. I don't think I finished them off. Okay, and then this should be the churro. It's kind of... Oh, see, I don't think you can really see it on <coughs> camera. It's kind of like a beigey color with like a darker little blotchy speckle thing. Kind of tastes like cinnamon sugar. Yeah. Which is what you would normally find on a churro. I think the least successful one was the apple pie. Yeah. Because it was hard to taste any apple. I don't know. They're, they're good. I, I enjoyed them. I love jelly beans anyway. Um, but yeah, out of the five flavors, I think the least successful is probably the apple. Or apple pie. Because I didn't really taste apple there. Um, the lemon sorbet was good. The mochi, strawberry mochi was good. The chocolate tasted chocolatey. The churro tasted like cinnamon sugar. So, 
pretty much what you would expect. <sighs> yeah, I think they turned out all right. So, okay. The chocolate macaron is probably France, so we got the Eiffel Tower. The strawberry mochi is clearly Japanese, because mochi. And yeah. we've got like a pagoda sticking out there. Apple pie has got to be in the New York Statue of Liberty. Churro, that looks like, um, might be Sagrada Familia over in Spain. Do they do churros in Spain? I thought it was a little Mexican thing. I know they do them in Mexico, but did it come from Spain? I don't know. Maybe. Anybody from Spain? I'm not entirely sure. Anybody from that area? And then there's a picture. It looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So is that where the lemon sorbet is supposed to come from? Huh. They wouldn't have called it sorbet. They would have called it sorbetto. Huh. I'm guessing that's, that's supposed to represent Italy. I, I'm not entirely sure. Whatever. I, I enjoyed the uh, jelly beans. Yeah. Um, I, I could take or leave the Game Boy things because I'm not a big fan of, you know, fake grape. But I knew that going in, so. And I would say these gummies were a big disappointment because they weren't the flavors that yeah. they're representing. I, I really think it was a missed opportunity there. Yeah. Could have been much more exciting and interesting. <coughs> so I guess that's where we're at now is uh, ready to wrap this candy one up. Yeah. So disappointed that the gummies were as expensive as they were and they weren't they weren't that good yeah. I mean the flavors were fine it's just they weren't weren't what we were expecting I would have been much happier to pay almost four bucks three ninety nine for this little container had they been the weird flavors but since they're just standard yeah. flavors yeah. and just the shapes so what I mean, so what? Yeah. I mean, you could have bought, at Five Below, you can get just a box of the mac and cheese ones. And that's like five bucks for that box. And I'm like, but they taste like orange. They don't taste like mac and cheese. That would make a big difference if they actually tasted like what they're representing. So, definitely a missed opportunity. Very disappointing. I was really looking forward to trying them. Because I thought, oh, these will be weird. Nope. <laughs> so now I can see what um, Brad Tries was saying. Because it's, it's not... It's not representing... It's not, or it's not tasting like what it's representing as... Whatever. It's, it's disappointing. <clears throat> so... Um, I guess that's it for this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Remember to do all the YouTube things. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell icon to be notified of future uploads should the YouTube gods deem it worthy. Um, we're, right now we're at 84 subscribers, so maybe we'll pick up a few more. Keep trying the weird stuff. Um, those of you who are new, welcome to the... <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I was going to say the family, but we're, are we a family? Who knows? We're family. Yeah. I don't know. Welcome to the to the channel. With the fucking chaos. <laughs> Welcome to the chaos that yeah. is my life. Yeah. Welcome to the chaos. There you go. That, that sounds about right. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>